This week, Louisiana made national headlines for being the first state to require the Ten Commandments to be posted in every public school classroom. Students from kindergarten to college will soon be studying under the list that some call historical and some call biblical. Uh, the posters will be up next year, and at least four civil liberties groups have filed lawsuits. The Baton Rouge area Republican who wrote the bill recently appeared on CNN. State Representative Lauren Ventrella said it's merely posting a historical reference on the wall for students to read and interpret if they choose. When asked directly what she would say to parents who don't share their her religious views, her reply was, quote, don't look at it. Uh, Governor Jeff Landry was quick to tie the bill to the Bible when he signed it earlier this week. If you have ever been lucky enough to travel uh, to Washington, D.C. and go into uh, the House chamber, there are faces of people who um, uh, have made great contributions to Western civilization. And all of those faces are half face, except for one. Mm -hmm. There is one face under which you see the full face of the person, and that person, and that, and that, and, and that person's face sits dead center above where the speaker sits. Y'all want to guess who that is? Moses. So there you go. Faces Landry mentions were added to the Capitol when it was renovated in 1950. It's a diverse group in addition to Moses with Thomas Jefferson, the King of Babylonia, and Jewish uh, a Jewish philosopher, Napoleon I, Emperor of France, as well as St. Louis, the namesake of the cathedral in Jackson Square. State Attorney General Liz Merle says she is looking forward to defending the legal challenges of the state's new Ten Commandments law.